Today we're looking at the table of exact values. Uh, the table contains some values that you must know in order to answer some of the trig questions that you'll get within the higher non-calculator paper. And also it's good practice uh, at National 5 to be able to understand the values within the table here. Now the values are really made up from, if I just look at my calculator here, and I look at uh, the sine of 30 degrees, I'd be looking to get an answer of a half out there. So if I go for sine 30 degrees, there we go, we've got an answer of a half. If I look at the sine of uh, 60 degrees, let's see what we get from that, and hopefully from that there I should get the answer root 3 upon 2. And what I've got is I've got my calculator in math mode there, so I can get the fractions appearing on my calculator. But these are the values, some exact values, that uh, you really should know in order to be able to answer some of the questions that you're, you're certainly going to be posed. So I'm going to look at it in three ways. First way is the, this first one that I've got here, and really you're just meant to uh, memorise it if you can, and remember the values in the table. The second method I'm going to look at is a way of creating the table um, from you know quite a simple uh, method. And the third method I'm going to do is I'm going to use some triangles, maybe instead of the table, uh, for to work out your exact values from there. Right, so this is the first one. And all we're looking at here is we're looking at the, the values uh, within the table based on the degrees at the top. So what you need to remember is 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees that you need to remember. Uh, the radians are there for uh, higher pupils. And remember what we've got is for radians, pi radians equals 180 degrees. So just half of that will give me pi upon 2. And half of that again will give me 45 degrees, which gives me pi upon 4. Uh, 180 divided by 3 gives me 60, so that's pi upon 3. And 30 degrees is a sixth of 180, so that would be pi upon 6. So that's where I would get my radians from there. And the table's got some, some things in there that uh, help me to, to remember it. So going from 0, a half. 1 over root 2, root 3 over 2, and to 1. The cosine is just the reverse of that, if you can see that there. So, so in fact, if I look at the, the graphs down below, the graph here, the red graph is the start of the sine graph up to 90 degrees. The blue graph here is the cosine graph starting at 1 and going to 90 degrees there. And both graphs, if I look at them, they are mirror images of each other around about 45 degrees. So I can see there at 45 degrees, both of the values are the same, and that's 1 over root 2. 1 over root 2. Okay, and I can also see that that value there on the sine graph for 30 is equal to 60 on the cosine graph. This value here on the cosine graph equals that value there on the sine graph. And that will help us when I go on to create the, the table. And also I'm going to be using something that I can see here as well. So I've got 1 over root 3. I can see a 1 and a root 3 on the numerator there. 1 and 1. 1 divided by 1 will give me 1. Root 3 and 1 give me root 3. So I'm going to use some of the properties from there. But certainly from the graph I should be able to know that that's 0, 1 and 0 for the tan graph. And 1, 0 for 90 degrees and the tan graph is undefined, so there's no, no answer that's going in there. Right, so let's look at the second part, and we'll look at creating the table of exact values. Okay, so as long as I remember that uh, I've got 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 to do, then when I go into my exam, what I could do is I could just spend about a minute or so writing down the values into uh, a table, so that I've got the values there for any trick questions that come along. Right, so, so what I'll do then, if, uh, if I was working at higher, what I could do is I could write down the degrees, just make up a quick table, and then what I'll do is I'll just uh, know that that's going to be half of, that's going to be half of 180, that there is going to be another half of that, so I could write that in, I should know that 0 is going to be 0, and let's see, 60 is a third of 180, so that's pi upon 3, that's a sixth, so that's pi upon 6, so I've already got my values in in radians now as well.
I'm going to use this line here for some working. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get into a pattern of going root 0 over 2, root 1 over 2, root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, and root 4 over 2. So I've not spent a lot of time really doing that. So all I would need to know is to do the, the 0 to 4 in the root all over 2. I'll just work that out to work out my sine value. So root, root 0 is 0, divided by 2 is just going to be 0. Root 1 it's just going to be 1, so that's a half in there. I'm just going to leave that as it is, root 2 over 2. I've got root 3 over 2, I'm not going to simplify that down any further. The square root of 4 is 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. So there I go. I've got my sine already worked out there, sine x. Flip it over, just reverse it. 1, root 3 upon 2, root 2 upon 2, a half and 0. That's me got the cosine. And from there, what I'm going to work out is I'm going to work out the sine divided by the cosine. Because remember that tan x is equal to sine x over cos x. And you'll remember that from your national 5 credit or your intermediate 2. Right, so sine divided by cosine. 0 divided by 1, that's going to be 0. Okay? A half divided by root 3 upon 2. So if I think about what that is, that was a half divided by root 3 upon 2. So remember when we were dividing fractions, we just flip them over, flip the last one and change the sign. And if I'm multiplying them across the way, I would get 1 over root 3. So that's 1 over root 3. But uh, what I can do is I can just look at the, the values that I've got on the numerator. So 1 and root 3 and just write them down. Root 2 divided by root 2 is going to be 1. Root 3 divided by 1 is just root 3, and 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So there I've got the table of exact values down already. In the original table, I had a different value in here for uh, the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees. So let me show you why that, uh, why that is different. In the previous one, what I had is I had 1 over root 2. Now, this one here is just shown with uh, the denominator rationalised. So all I'll do is I'll just multiply that by root 2 over root 2. Remember, that's just multiplying by 1, just using thirds to try and work out a rational uh, denominator here. So 1 times root 2 is root 2, all over root 4. The square root of 4 is just going to be 2. And that's why... 1 over root 2 is the same as root 2 over 2. And in your calculator, when you work it out, this will be the value that will come up in your calculator. So I could all, all, I could, I could also write down the, the 1 over root 2 in here, because they are both the same. So that's me created the, the table of exact values. And if I wasn't talking about it and showing you how to, how to work it out that way, then it would be very quick to do right at the start of the exam, ready for uh, working out uh, any of the problems that I have. Right then, let's show a different way of doing it. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you some triangles that we can use to work out the, uh, the, the exact values. So the first triangle that I'm going to draw down will be an equilateral triangle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw down an equilateral triangle here. Right, so what I'm going to say is that the side length on this equilateral triangle is 2. This side here is going to be 2, and this side here is going to be 2, because it's equilateral, all sides the same, and I would know that all the angles are going to be the same as well. So that's going to be 60 degrees, that'll be 60 degrees, and up at the top there, that'll be 60 degrees there as well. Right, so what I want to do though with this triangle, I just want to cut it in half. So if I cut that triangle right in half here, okay, and what I'll do is I'll just bold up this triangle at this side because I only want to use half of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a small right angle triangle that's here. Right, okay, there we go. So I'm going to be using that triangle there. So already what we had said was that this side here is 2. So I'll just bold that up. This side here will now be half of 2 because I've just halved that and that's going to be 1. What I could do is I could work out this side here by Pythagoras. It's one of the shorter sides, so what it will be, it will be the square root of 2 squared take away 1 squared. So 2 squared is 4, 
4 take away 1 would be 3, so that would be the square root of 3, this side that's here, that side. If I think about the angles, well my angles, this one down the bottom here is still 60, because I've not changed that at all, so that's still 60 degrees. And the one up at the top is now half of 60, which is now 30 degrees that's there. Now if I remember my uh, Sokotoa work, what I'll do is I'll just write down Sokotoa at the top, so you try to remember that. Okay, and I know that uh, if I was working out uh, this, this angle here, and I was wanting to know what the sine of this angle is, it would be the opposite, which would be this side here, divided by the hypotenuse, and it would be over here, that would be the hypotenuse, when I'm using red. This side here would be the adjacent, when I'm using this angle here, the 60 degrees. If I was using the 30 degree angle, this here would be my opposite side, this here would be my adjacent side, and this here would still be the hypotenuse, so I can still work that out there. So if I look at the values from here, if I was want, wanting to work out sine of 30 degrees, that would be 1 over 2, so that would just be a half, which would be the same as on the table of exact values. If I wanted to work out the cosine of 30, it would be root 3 over 2. If I wanted to work out the tan of 30, it would be 1 over root 3. So I could use that triangle itself without bothering to write it into the table. I could write it into the table as well if I wanted to do that. So that triangle there can give you all the values for 30 and 60. Let's look at the other triangle that we would use. So what I would think about doing is drawing up a square. So if I draw up a square, I'll draw a big square here. So there's a square. Okay. I'm going to call that side length of 1. That will be a side length of 1 as well because it's just, uh, just a square. And what I'm really going to do with the square, I'm just going to cut it right across the diagonals like this here. So if I cut it across the diagonals and I'll just bold up the triangle that I've got left. And this side here. Okay, so what I've got here again is I've got a right angle triangle and I can think again about my right angle trig and I know that the angle that's going to be in here is going to be 45 degrees and the other side there is going to be 45 degrees as well. Okay, so this angle here, if I consider this one first of all and I use that one, then I know that opposite the angle is going to be the opposite side. The angle that's the side that's going to be here is the adjacent, and the one that's left is the hypotenuse. So again, from there, from this triangle here, I can work out uh, the, the angles uh, or the, the values that are um, to do with 45 degrees. So if I wanted to know what the sine of 45 is, so I'd be looking at the opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 1, and the hypotenuse there is going to be working out by Pythagoras, I could work that out, that would be the longest side, so it'll be 1 squared plus 1 squared will give me 2, and I'll take the square root of that. So this side here is going to be the square root of 2. So the sine of 45 will give me opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over root 2. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 1 over root 2 again, and the tan of 45 is 1 over 1. 1 divided by 1 would just give me 1. So what I could do is just use these triangles to work out the values that I needed in the, the questions that I'd be given. So there's three options. Work it, look at it, study it, check out the, the values and remember it, learn how to create it, or create the triangles and work through from the triangles to work out any values that you would actually need in your questions. So choose a method that, that suits you best.